Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Meat Cranium Barbecue and Review. Well, today, one of the most probably controversial videos I've ever done on my channel, at least cooking videos wise, is my, when I did Ultimate Euros. I got a lot of people that said, hey, that isn't authentic. Well, you know, my Ultimate uh, Euros video wasn't supposed to be like authentic Euros. It was to give, you know, everybody, you know, an option if they want to do it at home and not have to put on a spin and everything else, give them a good option. So this is, well, the closest version I can get to authentic. Now, I mean, you know, some people say that beef, beef is authentic. Is authentic. Some people say that lamb is authentic. Um, I, I uh, worked inside a Greek restaurant. We had a lamb, we had lamb and beef meat on a spit that used to spin around. And that's what we used to, to slice it off real thin. You used to put it to the, to the pita bread. And uh, I used to put tzatziki sauce, uh, less tomato and onion. Uh, the tzatziki sauce I made, uh, I made homemade. The pita bread, um, actually a store bought. It's uh, low carb, that's why I got it. So stay tuned and see how I made this. It might not be authentic to everybody, but it is authentic to me. And go to find out there's about a thousand different ways to make authentic euros. So check this out. y'all so what I have here is I got about that's probably about about four and a half pounds pork butt some uh, uh, they call them Boston butt and uh, had it sliced in about one eighth inch thin basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna marinate this now it's nighttime right now as you can see behind me and I'm gonna go ahead and marinate these put them into a ziploc bag and then tomorrow I'm gonna put them on to this it's a uh, it's a little it's a chicken hanger I got for from a barrel house cooker to hang a chicken up inside the barrel house cooker, but I'm gonna use it inside my Big Easy. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, some coriander seed, some rosemary, some cumin seed. Then we're gonna add some about two cups of oil to the mortar pestle. But we're gonna do two tablespoons of everything. This is elephant garlic. So that's one big huge. Uh, you need about five cloves. But we're gonna do one and a little small one like that. And then about a medium sized onion. That's all you need. And we're gonna dice this up. We're gonna put it into there and mix it all up and put in the meat in there and just let it marinate overnight. And I'm gonna revisit this tomorrow. Let's get started on the, uh, the mortar pestle. I just so you know, this smells really greeky right now. Squish it, get ear out of it. Done. And then tomorrow, gonna put it onto the chicken rack from uh, Barrel House Cooker. Gonna put them all down here, stack them all the way up. Then we're gonna put on the Big Easy, cut it off, have ourselves some euros. It's pretty much that easy, y'all. It's that easy. I will see you tomorrow. See ya.
What's going on y'all? Well today's the next day. Fortunately I'm not going to be able to uh, put the meat into the Big Easy until later on tonight. But for right now I'm going to go ahead I'm going to make the tzatziki sauce that goes with it. Now I have a video where I've already made tzatziki sauce and I'll link that in uh, if the iCard takes. For some reason iCards haven't been taking but uh, if there is an iCard I'll put it right here. Okay, um, now I'll also put that down in the description down below. I'll put a link for the tzatziki sauce recipe that I did. So anyhow, I'm gonna do a quick little um, go over of what I do here, how I do tzatziki sauce. So first off with tzatziki sauce, you wanna take yourself, this is called an English cucumber. Also called a burpless cucumber, also known as a seedless cucumber. This is key. And there you go, beautiful, sexy tzatziki sauce. Man, I love this stuff. This is so good. Don't buy it store made anymore. Next is gonna be the meat, the most important thing. All right, let's get this pork on the skewer. So this is how I'm doing it. All right, so I've got a hook right here. So I got the hook right here. This is the hanging hook, but I'm gonna have to put the meat over it, down and then onto here. Then I'm gonna lift it up. It's gonna get sort of messy. Here's what the meat looks like right here. Now it's gonna take the meat, hook it through here, and lay it down. Now when you're doing the meat, don't do them all the same direction. Do them all in different directions. Got all these beautiful spices on here. Here's something else. This meat has fat marbled through it. So by just cooking, that fat is also gonna cook it down too. Makes it even better. It's kind of a small piece, I'll put that towards the top. All right, so I'm gonna continue to just do this. Make sure, like you put a piece like that, put another piece, put another piece, put another piece, put another piece, like that. So it's all kind of uneven. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish this up, and we're gonna get onto the, uh, the char roll Big Easy. All right, so here's what it looks like now that I've got everything skewered up on there. Here you go. That's how it looks. After you put it, see how it uh, it's all rigid? That's how you want it. So you slice it off there, it's all really good. Now it's time to get into the Big Easy. Side there, you see the flame, there it is. There you go. Just get heated up and put these euros in there. All right, so the Big Easy is nice and heated up right now, so all I'm doing, I'm using the A frame, I mean, I'll be using the H frame out of my barrel house cooker. I'm going to go ahead and hook this, hook this right here, and now I'm going to set this inside the Big Easy. I got some pita bread right here. All right, so I went ahead and I bought some store-bought pita bread because this is getting to be kind of long. Um, look, I have a video where I've actually made pita bread by scratch. If you'd like to see that, I'll put it into an iCard. If the iCard appears, it'll be right here in the corner, right there. So, uh, so go check out that video, and I'll also link it down below, my pita and my 
uh, tzatziki sauce recipes will be down below. I think this is about ready to get taken off. Get ready to assemble, to slice them off. All right, so I went ahead and I removed the H-frame that this was hooked onto, and I'm just, because it's standing up freely by itself. But that's what it looks like thus far. Look at that. See how easy this is, not hard. Look at that. You just want to start cooking it where you start seeing like the brown on the edges right here. See, it's not ready yet, but I just let you know, give you an update. It's all you're looking for. Looking for the brown around the edges. Then you just slice the ed the brown off of the edges and you make yourself your sandwich. All right, y'all. So let's give this let's give this a try. Just assembled it. Have the uh, got the the gyro meat. Got some tzatziki sauce, lettuce, some shredded lettuce, right there. Tomato and onion. This is how I used to wrap it uh, when I used to work in a restaurant. Some people used to order one. This is how you used to wrap it, just like this. So you just fold it back. And uh, let's give the bad boy a try. Hmm. Hmm. Now gyro. I got some more. I'm about to cut off the spit right there. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. It's getting kind of late, and I'm going to try to get this done before it gets dark. So anyhow, uh, like, subscribe. I'll see you all next week. Ciao.